President Tekufuano has made it clear that he doesn't want just people who want to come for opportunities, but people who come as friends. People who are ready to negotiate in a way that will be beneficial to Ghana also. We've spoken at length about all the various projects that Ghana wants to deal with in terms of our one district, one factory, planting for food and jobs, one village, one dam, um, and all the rest of the steps that the president has taken to industrialize Ghana. But there's one message that I want to send out to my Indian brothers in particular today. I want us to look out of the box. We've worked very well since early 2000 in areas, for example, Exim Bank, lines of credit, buyer's credit, and so on and so forth. Yes, we'll continue in that vein because I know, and I'll say this without fear or favor, that the rates that we get from your Exim Bank are better than most of the European banks who come and also take uh, the same packages that we are forced to take by the IMF. And this should stop. This is something we are not going to tolerate again in future because we want the best deal for ourselves. So yes, we need money from Exim Bank to progress. But we also need something which is most important. We want Indians to come here to do FDI, Foreign Direct Investment. Anybody who has an outward growth strategy should bear in mind that Africa is the next frontier. And why am I saying this? Because we can't just put pie in the sky figures to come up with what we want. Concrete figures churned out by the World Bank tells us that the prediction for 2018, out of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world, six of them are going to come from Africa. And of those six, Ghana is number one. So any businessman with an outward growing strategy who is going to come to Africa, come to the number one country, which is Ghana, and let us work together. And this is possible. Let us look at the recent not $1 million, not $2 million, $80 million steel factory. Ningo Pram Pram, on an 85-acre land. This is going to churn out about 15,000 tons of steel products per month. It's going to make it the biggest when it's finished in 2019, October. The biggest in West Africa and one of the biggest in the whole of Africa. Being done by an Indian company for foreign direct investment.